Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and welcome to your week in tech. Previous Elevator pitch winners Match Pines have raised $1.5 million from lead investor 24 Haymarket. Match Pint connects sports fans, pubs and brands to make the most of sports broadcasting in pubs. Third Space Learning have raised $2.3 million for their primary maths teaching platform, which links teachers in India with UK schools for online teaching. London-based big data solution provider Salviol has raised $7.2 million in a Series A funding round led by Orange Growth Capital. Cloud compliance SaaS firm Nowi Comply has raised a $1.2 million Series A round from Angel Lab and the Mayor's London Co-Investment Fund. Geniac is taking the headache out of fast growth for small businesses and they've secured $34 million from business advisors Grant Thornton UK LLP. And the London tech sector is storming ahead with a $1.5 billion raised in venture capital in the first half of 2015. Cybersecurity firm Hacking Team were the victims themselves of hacking this week. The Italy-based company offers security services to law enforcement and national security organisations. During the hack, the company's Twitter feed was taken over and documents were leaked which suggested they had sold malware to repressive governments. These particular governments have been criticised for aggressive surveillance of their citizens. Hacking Team have failed to comment on the recent incident. Microsoft has announced losses of $7.6 billion on its mobile phone business, forcing the company to cut 7,800 jobs. The company bought Nokia back in 2012 for $7.3 billion, but has struggled to compete against the likes of Apple's iPhone and Google's Android system. Windows currently has less than 5% share of the mobile operating system market. Our download of the week is Go Euro. Now, this app allows you to search for rail, coach, and airfares all in one handy space. So, if you spend your time traveling and are constantly comparing websites to the best fares, Go Euro is the answer for all your transport booking needs. It's available to download on iOS and on Android. And finally, MasterCard are trialing a new selfie security check instead of asking users for passcodes. Facial recognition technology will let you confirm payments online by taking a snap of yourself on your smartphone. Now, we haven't actually had a chance to check out if this will pose any problems for twins, but certainly a selfie is quicker and easier than filling out all those multiple passwords. This has been your week in tech. For more, please check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.